Hello and welcome back. In this session, we are going to learn about just-in-time virtual machine access. Uh, this allows you to lock down administrative ports of your virtual machines, which has either RDB protocol, which is 3389, or SSH port on 22, or whatever the protocols you wanted to you know, block it to connect to these machines. And this requires your users and system administrators to request access to those remote ports using a feature that will reduce your attack surface by not allowing full time access to the administrative ports. So you need to have a basic uh, pre-requirement that is uh, that's nothing but your Azure, Azure Security Center standard subscription and then you should be able to use this and this doesn't uh, cover with the standard free version I do not allow you to configure this feature because it's a premium feature which is just in time a VM access only supports virtual machines deployed through Azure Resource Center so I'm talking about ARM model so if you have the machines with the ASM model a uh, long way back uh, mechanism of older way of uh, VMs that you must have to be you know, upgraded to get this feature. To be honest, I hope nobody is using these days with the old and older method of ASM model. Now everybody is uh, continuing with the ARM model. I'll just go to Security Center uh, within the Microsoft Azure portal, and you can see here my current uh, subscription is not upgraded, and I need to upgrade in order to enjoy just-in-time access. So just-in-time. How VM access will be available here under advanced cloud defense mechanism because this uh, falls under a cloud defense mechanism and if you see here uh, this needs to be enabled as the security center to be upgraded to standard mechanism so I need to know just click on that uh, the first 30 days is a free trial if you if you have already have the standard subscription please ignore I'll just in my case I'm just upgrading so that it's actually going further and as you know that security center can cover a lot of subscriptions um, so I just wanted to go for one subscription install agents so I just have uh, enable for only one single subscription instead of you know multiple subscriptions because I do have multiple subscriptions since there was no VMs in that subscription I I was not able to install any of the agents that's why it was showing as a zero when we try to deploy the agents for this subscription called new now as a next step what I will be doing is if I just come to the security center overview and click on the recommendations if you see here and uh, here under security management ports which uh, will add me you know 25 plus points if I can you know fulfill these uh, requirements the first one would be management port should be closed on the virtual machines management port should be protected so here if I just go back here and click on it so I should be able to see here a VM which is unhealthy and on top of it I need to oh, you see here this is a VM uh, which we have now this VM has a port called 3389 automatically uh, enable when we try to create a VM so it's very quick like when you try to create any of the virtual machine normally it will ask you whether you want to open for RDP port or SSH so that port will be automatically open and it will be added into your NSG firewall so it was just for the security post that uh, we are talking about it so once we configured it actually what would happen is the port whatever we are trying to connect the management port that we talked about either 3389 or SSH port for that specific VM gets locked that would uh, become as the DNA automatically and that specific time only within that specific time only the users can log in and also you can configure additional policies to configure in a such a way where uh, it can only management port should be open for only specific IP address so that it's not open for uh, entire internet so that kind of configuration can be done so let's jump into the configuration part uh, for the configuration of that specific VM and click on enable just in time so once we do this it actually uh, creates in the back end with the open uh, security center and you see here you have the option 
once this configuration is done in the back end uh, you can check out here uh, whatever we have you know just clicked on enable button just in time access successfully enabled for this VM now I should be able to request here uh, like by clicking on here so what would happen is by default if I just go to the VM now under networking now earlier it was actually enabled if you remember 300 port was there for RDP but now what happened is 3389 is blocked completely so this rule was automatically created it was not done by me as soon as I enabled from the management configuration management so it has created a specific rule within the NSG fully automated method so as a next step what we can do is we can request uh, the specific access uh, for this VM so to do that what I can do is I'll just go to open security center so you need to go to the security center and then virtual machines uh, the specific uh, VM and click on that and request access so currently it is completely disabled so let's give it a try uh, by going to the overview and see whether it's really blocked or not so I'll just copy this public IP and I'll go to my run and MSTSC I'll try to connect here and I'm getting error as I'm not able to connect because just in time access is configured and if I try with the port also it remains the same like so the connection is completely blocked so let's give it a try uh, for accessing so this is how you configure so we configure now if you want to you know request access the next steps are to go to the VM and go to the security center or just go to the manage configuration and then from here just request access so this is where it's going to uh, ask us uh, this specific policy you see here if it is a windows vm it's going to give us 3389 as like this but if it is a linux ssh port will be listed here and toggling on or off you can choose and your ip range that's your uh, ip or a specific ip range that is from anywhere if you give star or if you have a what's your public IP whatever the public IP is there from there also you can configure it so I'll just give here any IP for example and also here the time uh, duration so if you see here uh, this talks about the time uh, how much time I have to give here and based on the hours I'll just go specific to the zoom uh, because it's not showing properly if I just go a little bit zooming down I should be able to see here uh, it's a two hours or maybe four hours like that you can give post to that it will be automatically the policy gets uh, revoked the permission for 3389 or whatever the SSH port and it will become as a default as DNA so that you are actually protecting so now what I will be doing is I'll just take for two hours uh, for 3389 and I can give you a justification let's say I want to configure uh, my application and see open ports so what would happen is in the back end it actually grants a specific access within NSG if I go back to virtual machine networking and NSG there should be another rule has been created with specific to the JIT uh, just in time access and I should be able to connect so I'll just take this or I'll open again one more time uh, MSTSC and I'll try to connect to the IP which is this 1952.147.198.92 colon 33f so this time it should be able to connect because we have a working uh, working policy you see here it's actually prompting for the user id so i can give here my user id to get connected so that uh, the VM port is completely enabled and after two hours of the policy this NSG rule gets changed so it will revoke the policy so it gets applied as the deny policy so this is how just in time act VM access will work so this VM is get connected got connected uh, to the RDP protocols now let's have a look on activity log about what was recorded here if you see here the complete uh, security like the policy enabled for the JIT network access policy and the 
when we enable the screen or update of the virtual machine these all the things has been completely logged so that you know what's happening within this activity for your specific VM so that you can easily monitor or you can create an alerts or you can uh, forward this entire information to login Arctic services in case if you are more specific to the only just in time VM access specific activity logs go to security center and select that specific VM and if you see here on the three dots you can check out about the activity log and this is where it actually only filters with that specific information with related to JIT network access or JIT specific uh, activity logs will be complete and this would actually initiate or all that actions will be shown up here and in case uh, if I just go back to the previous page of VM and if you are looking for any additional things let's say you want additional port to be configured you simply have to go again um, to the JIT and simply enable that ports like by clicking on edit and you can add additional ports in case if you are looking for one other example of port would be like a VNC like a 5900 port to be enabled up to uh, maybe 24 hours that's what maximum you can configure and later point it gets automatically DNA access would be applied if you want to revoke the complete policy you can click on this button to take it out so that would actually take it out uh, this policy the current configured policy so that's it about the just-in-time network access for virtual machines within Microsoft Azure. As explained earlier, this is uh, you can use the specific settings, same settings for Windows as well as for virtual machines uh, for Linux operating system, and it could significantly decrease the attack footprint in your environment. Your virtual machines do not need to be on internet for this to be a great solution because, as we know, most attacks occur within our network boundaries so we can use this even though our virtual machines do not uh, have internet access so thanks a lot for joining me in this session and i look forward to be working with you in the next lesson thank you